Community leaders continue talks of banning fireworks. This on the eve of fireworks sales opening day. It's where we begin tonight at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Now an emergency meeting for Draper City Council members voting on tighter firework restrictions because of the abundant fire danger within city limits. Hey, Ms. Flores, Jason Wynn live for us tonight in Salt Lake County. And Jason, I understand you spoke to the Draper Fire Chief who says this explosive situation keeps him up at night. Yeah, Glenn, he says he is actually fearful of what could happen because of all this cheat grass, any dry sagebrush, even if it looks green, he says it has the potential to just light up, especially if somebody uses fireworks in a restricted area. Draper City Fire has more than 4,000 acres of preserved, dry and flammable open space that backs up to people's homes. This means that we can have rapid fire spread and and something that we don't want to see and put people in harm's way. Draper City Fire Chief Clint Smith is asking all residents to stick to the three professional fireworks shows during Draper days. Our fear is, is that, uh, that people will not listen to these types of uh, talks, these types of uh, opportunities where we talk about the danger, that they will uh, think that it doesn't apply to them or that it'll never happen to them. Fire danger is so concerning, Draper City Council enacted a zero tolerance policy for any fireworks set off in a restricted area. You're gonna get the $1,000 fine. You're gonna get the Class C misdemeanor. And if you start a fire, you're gonna get to pay for it. And you're gonna get to pay for the ancillary expenses. You know, if you start a fire and a firefighter gets hurt or we lose some equipment, it can get very expensive. If you live east of I-15 to 13th East from Kimball Lane down to 138th South, you're basically in the only area legal to set off personal fireworks. Outside of that area, fireworks are banned in the city, and officials say many of the wildfires in Draper are started by minors. If you got little kids or minors or teenagers, you need to tell them. You, you get caught. It, it's going to be expensive, and it could be life-changing, frankly. Now, Chief Smith tells me now is the time, if you haven't, to go out into your backyard and clear all that dead brush like this from your yard. He says he's actually got teams available to, do, to go over your property for any type of defensible space to save your home. Now, Draper Police, they also say they're going to have extra patrols to enforce Draper's law to make sure that no one sets off fireworks in those restricted areas. I'm Jason Wynn, live in Salt Lake County, ABC4 News. All right, great advice. Thanks so much, Jason.